Hello, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm a full-time reseller. Uh, why should you listen to anything I say? Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I know my way around the reselling markets. Um, really been doing it all my life, to be honest with you. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the things, well, I'm going to show you all of the things I picked up from the garage, garage sale yesterday and some thrift store pickups today. So let's just start with, I spent twenty nineteen dollars and stuff was just cheap. Um, you know, this, this is going to make back all my money, uh, a Polly Pocket, um, Dazzling Pet Show, still sealed, uh, Polly Pocket is a good seller, especially brand new, um, Although I did buy one one piece that had these magnets in it that you can't list on um, on eBay. It's like a choking hazard. So I've got this large, I thought I had hit this nice score at a thrift store. Get home, start typing the listing up, and then I get a pop-up box that says, you can't sell this. And I was just, I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad that that came up because I'm always talking about pop-ups and the need for more pop-ups, but... Uh, yeah, so I've listed it locally and I've got no bites so far, but that'll sell online for sure, as long as there's no restrictions. Um, picked up some Brita filters. Uh, I, I, I sell these locally, but I also make bundles. And I mean, I, I used to list them on eBay. I, I just, you know, water filters are one of those things that you can get Vero's over. So I kind of just, you know... I like to sell practical things as well because a lot of what I sell is collectibles, which is more discretionary. Uh, so I like to to have some you know practical things as well, especially since we're in a little bit of a recession uh, ish. So uh, I bought a watch, a swat like an old swatch. No idea what this, if it even works. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a bit. Uh, it's pretty cool looking though. Kind of retro looking almost so um got a lock for personal use <laughs> um picked up a little a couple little travel souvenirs from bali uh i like selling travel souvenirs you know magnets that's what these are magnets i'll bundle these together maybe i'll bundle them with something else that i already have listed with but from bali maybe postcards or something like that you know, make, make an, an existing listing that much more attractive. I, I like to do that as well. Uh, I like to create unique lots. Uh, bought this Timex watch, still in the box, still having the uh, suggested retail price. It looks brand new. Um, kind of cool looking, checkered black and white, kind of a timeless, time, timeless Timex design. So... Well, we'll see what see what that'll do. I'll sell for what they're going to sell for, right? And sometimes at the time when we comp things, the uh, the prices by the time we get them listed, by the time they eventually sell, sometimes they don't sell for that anyhow. But so to be honest with you, I have no idea what some of this stuff is going to sell for. All I know is that Harry Potter is uh, you know a franchise. This is a poster book. Uh, looks to be completely intact. And I do definitely already have some Harry Potter stuff. I can just add this to it as well. So someone who likes Harry Potter is going to be interested in this. Same thing with the uh, Secret Saturdays, Zach Files Cartoon Network. Um, it's a 3D glasses. I wonder if the glasses are even in here. Nope. That is unfortunate. I always like it when the, I always think it's like a little treat when the, when the glasses are still attached. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But like I said, I was just picking stuff up with this because everything was, was so super cheap. Uh, I think these were like a dime. Um, I got some vintage Christmas stuff. Um, I did look up this brand. Um, double, what is it? Double, double Glow. This one, this one is actually still sealed. Like tinsel, stuff like this. Got that fireproof icicles. And then there's these other uh, tinsel 
flame proof icicles you know at 10 cents you, you just can't go wrong with that uh I'll, I'll bundle a lot of this stuff up um i mean i don't even know if i'm gonna list it right now maybe i'll wait a little bit i just have so much stuff to, to list uh more and then tinsel garland double g uh, I just, you know, this stuff is unique. It's probably been, these, like, the lady said that they had been there for 50 years. And it's just time to move on. Uh, Woodward's Reflectors. These are pretty old as well. I'll probably just make, like I said, like a, a unique listing. Uh, as much as I can in, in the listing, as long as the package remains under a pound. Double glow ornament ha handles. Kind of cool old packaging. And then uh, some outdoor uh, light clips. These are still sealed. Eh, kind of cool stuff. Um, oh, a few more things. Um, I don't know what these are, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bundle these three together. Little Chimer hand-painted bisque porcelain. Little pets. Christmas. Christmas themed. Um, there are clothes sales for that. I thought this was kind of cool. This is a uh, looks like somebody made this. This little angel. Oh, this is made in Mexico. Hmm. It's like Mexican folk art. I do sell a lot of Mexican folk art as well, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know. I just couldn't leave it behind thought it was pretty cool I just don't know what any any idea what is that just for a candle all right and then a couple shot glasses um some old I'm guessing these are old Niagara Fall shot glasses very very high grade they do not look used and two of these um do not speak German So anyhow, so that was it for the, I, I think I went to three or four and pretty much struck out at all but the one. I only bought, uh, I only bought things at the, the one, which ironically enough, I had a route, like I was going to meet somebody at uh, Marketplace. I had a route of a couple that I went to, struck out at all the ones that I looked at from, uh, Craigslist and Facebook and then the one that I actually did well at was an un unplanned one that I just stumbled across um so today like I said I did a little thrifting uh picked up um a little Finlandia vodka glass I really like the uh, imagery on it it's very clean I, I I pick up certain barware when uh the logo and the image and everything is is really really clean really high grade doesn't look like it's been in the dishwasher and uh, I, I do well with stuff like this um these are a couple couple um cfl british columbia uh gray cup i'll pair these together picked up a couple pieces of art uh these are all i believe these are all from the same person these are all hand painted little plaques um they're just absolutely gorgeous i'm just gonna pair the three together um paid um what did i pay for these uh 13 dollars for all three um got some prints uh these were oh. Basically, these are just like five prints. They're all different. They're all different artists. So I'll, these will all, all sell separately. Um, and I might even, you know, sometimes it's really easy to get frames. I, I may end up framing them and selling them locally. I haven't quite decided what I want to do. Like, to be honest with you, I do want to I do want to get into selling more art. This is just something that uh, fascinates me. I do have a friend that I met uh, through Marketplace, actually. Uh, and he works in an art gallery, and uh, he's going to Europe right now to do some uh, uh, do some picking over there. 
can't wait uh, to hear his stories when he gets back. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just It's just something that I, I want to get more into. Uh, I, I love art, so I always like to pick up different little pieces and just kind of like build my store, build my collection of art. Um, I picked up... This is an old Sailor Moon puzzle that was framed and put together. All the pieces are in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm most likely gonna sell this as the just as the puzzle. I haven't decided yet. Like the one piece fell out there, but it's it's down there. Uh, it's nice to see that it's complete. I haven't quite decided. I only paid three dollars for this, uh, and I know there's a huge market for Sailor Moon, so. Um, I might list it as it is, but then in the description state that this is only for the puzzle, not the frame. And see if I get any interest, and then see if somebody may want to buy it framed as well. Like, I'm going to list it locally as well. Uh, and then the last piece, I think this is kind of a bit of a home run. I guess you, I guess you, oh no, sorry, I have a couple other prints. Uh, lar larger prints, um... Posters, I guess, what you want to call them. Poster prints. Pick these up for uh, two bucks each. And I, I do well selling uh, different prints like this. It's so annoying when you, you have to get the thrift store sticker off and it still, like, has, still has a sticky residue on there. I feel like they do that on purpose. Uh, I mean, I generally sell these these kinds of things anywhere between twenty and twenty twenty five and sometimes forty or fifty dollars, especially if they're signed. I don't know. I don't think any of these are signed. But anyhow, so the last thing I want to show you guys, and I think this has the potential to be a, a bit of a home run. Uh, you can see it behind me. It's it's original art. So this is uh, the band Mother Mother. Now, they're a Canadian band, and like they were formed in mid-2000. I actually don't know anything about them. But in 2021, they started to get popular because of TikTok, because of some, of some of their songs went viral. So they started gaining some popularity. I can't help but think that there's a Mother Mother fan out there somewhere that is going to love to have this. It's original, it's signed, it's awesome looking. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I paid $13 for that. Um, but I mean, I think the right buyer, well, maybe someone would want to pay 200 bucks for that. I'll have to wait and see. Um, and I will let you know. And sales have been very strong today. Uh, and it's nice because there have, you know, this week's been pretty decent. Uh, today I had 10 sales. I had four on each eBay store, one local and one on Hip Comics. Um, and, you know, for the summer slowdown, I don't know, like things have been going pretty well. Um, let's keep it going. Uh, you know, I, I try not to have my sales be a reflection of like my mood. Uh, I think we as resellers, like, it's, it's very easy. You know, slow sales, no sales, we're grumpy. Things are things are humming, things are moving, we're happy. We're busy, but we're happy. Um, but even when things are slow, you just keep plugging along, keep listing, and then the abundance will come. So I think that's, I think that's kind of what, you know, combination of just long hours listing, cleaning up some of my listings, refreshing some of my listings through deleting and sell similar. I think all of those things together are getting more eyes on my stuff. Uh, you know, I just switched back, opted into the international shipping program. Um, so I got one sale already going to Germany, I think. But yeah, I'll have a what sold video tomorrow morning or early afternoon and uh, some good stuff there. And, you know, probably hopefully 
have some more sales through the night um, while I'm sleeping. You know, I like to make money while I sleep. So I'm sure you do as well. So anyhow, best of luck to you guys. Hope, hope you're having a good uh, Sunday evening, relaxing, and uh, we will talk to you soon.